Okay, rate of change. Um, Mr. Taylor again. We want to look at how we identify linear relationships. And we want to do so again with a real world example. Remember we said there are two types of constant rate of change. Uh, one is actually a constant rate of change and the other is a variable rate of change and we say if the relationship is constant we will have a linear line. So let's, let's just dive in here and see can we make sense of what they're asking us to do. So the amount of babysitter charges is shown in this relationship between the number of hours and the amount charged we want to know is it linear. If so we want to find the constant rate of change and if not we want to explain our reasoning. Well we have one hour, two hour, three hours, and four hours and their charges are for one hour ten dollars, two hours eighteen, three hours twenty six, and four thirty four dollars. So let's go on and go through uh, the meat of the problem. So if we look at the differences here in our um, x-axis or our independent axis which would be our number of hours we see uh, 2 1 minus 2 plus 1 2 minus 3 I'm sorry 3 minus 2 plus 1 and 4 minus 3 plus 1. Now we need to look at our differences in our dependent a y we see 18 minus 10 that's a plus 8 we see 26 minus 18 is also a plus 8 and 34 minus 26 we have a plus 8 well what that tells us is we have and we say change in y over the change in x so in that case I can say I have the change in charges over the change in hours. So saying that I see I have 8 over 1 and I have 8 over 1 for all three um, quantities. So since that is the case we can say that this is a linear relationship. And we say that it is because we have a constant rate of change. does that have we can say that the babysitter that the babysitter will earn eight dollars 
for a real word. Okay.